Good morning. I want to talk a little bit about Mondovap today. Mondovap is a steam machine and it will rapidly disinfect uh, from bacteria, certain viruses, and fungi. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is actually turn the machine on because it takes about six minutes to warm up. And so right on the front of the machine down here, push that button. You can hear the pump on this machine that's adding water into the boiler. So this is the only machine in the, in the industry, one of the only machines that you can actually add water at any time in the, and will pump into the boiler. Um, what comes with the machine is this entire um, cart, the machine, and all of these accessories. You have a hose, you have wand extensions, and various tools for various jobs on them. Um, I would say it's important not to use stainless steel, but use brass if you're doing grout in tiles, cleaning grout on tiles. Stainless steel would leave steel marks that you can't get off. Um, there are plastic ones, all kinds of different devices. There are window squeegee cleaners. Um, comes with a bottle with water, so you, at any time, once again, you can refill the tank. And probably what we're going to concentrate on the most is these two tools here. These two tools can be used uh, to disinfect areas. Um, what you need to do with these tools is diaper them. We'll call it diaper them, all right? So you can see each of these tools has a lever on it. And what you want to do is get your rag. It can be a terry cloth towel, it can be anything. This happens to be a microfiber. All right. Put the tool down. Kind of bring in your rag. Try to get nice and tight. And what this does, when the steam comes out, this traps all the steam in here. It creates, uh, it maintains that high steam and then high temperature and then, then you can go over and sanitize. The other tool that, that you can use in the diaper, and I've just got a heavy rag here, heavy, uh, this tool as well. I'm not the best diaperer. <laughs> But you pull, you pull all the extra in on this. And once again, when you're done, you've got this tool well covered as well. When you're ready to use this machine, the first thing you need to do is uh, attach the, the hose to the front of the machine. You lift this. and you put that in nice and tight. The next thing you want to do is um, perhaps I want to show you how to attach the tools. The red knob always goes up and it snaps in. To take it off, you push that and it comes right off. All right. When you're using some of the smaller tools, they snap on the same way, then, then you can put on whatever cleaning device you need to use right there. It's important to note when the steam comes out, obviously this gets very hot. By the time you're out here, you don't feel the temperature, but when you come in close to it, you'll feel the temperature and you'll pull away. You definitely want to be safe about this. You don't want, you don't want to be grabbing the part, all right? You always. If you've got to switch out a part, you can take it off with a, with a rag or something. That's important to know. That's how the tools go. When, you, uh, when we're using this, one of these tools here, which we'll be using today, they just go right on, just exactly like the same. This tool swivels 
but can be locked in place. So I'm going to leave it swiveling for our use today. This tool can be used for floors or larger surfaces, which you will see. If you're doing a floor, you can mount multiple wand pieces, then put the tool on the bottom, and then you're good for the floor. All right, um, if you come and look at the machine, as I stated before, it took about seven minutes for the steam to come all the way up to temperature here, and we got a green light on the machine so you're ready to go. The first thing we need to do, because this hose is cold, this is cold, the tool is cold, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the steam. I have the option for one, and one is low, two is medium, both switches gives me high power, I'm going to put both switches on and we're going to blow some water through this until we get the steam. It's going to run this for about 30 seconds. Now this is all hot. I'm just going to wait about two minutes while the machine comes back up to temperature. All right, the machine has come back up, up to temperature. And uh, what we're gonna do, if this is a hard surface, we're gonna set this up to sanitize. So I'm gonna put this tool on the machine here. We're running it through. Um, when you're stand, uh, disinfecting with this machine, we're not sanitizing, we're disinfecting with this machine, the different microorganisms we're trying to kill can take anywhere from two seconds contact time up to seven seconds contact time. So you need to be vigilant of that. You can't just go very quick and sanitize. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on all three for just a moment here. You see the steam is coming right out of my tool here. I'm gonna back to low now. If you think about contact time, the minimum you need is two seconds. So you cannot be moving really fast. I'm just going to run a second time. Turn off the steam. You can hear the pump replenishing the boiler. And so the handle is an important part. All the touch points around a handle where people would uh, put their hands all need to be sanitized. Really get the handle itself very, very thoroughly. The tool go in behind as well. Maybe on the wall beside where you are, you need to do this as well. Any place people are touching, you want to sanitize. And turn off that steam. All right, another thing that's uh, very important to uh, do is soft surfaces. Um, this steam will penetrate into the fabric. And so that if you have office partitions or chairs, um, that's, uh, this is the a good way to get rid of the microorganisms that could be causing illness in your building. First thing, put it back on with a chair. Want to be sure. 
get all the touch points where people touch. I'm up touching up here. So you can go right from a hard surface. This will steam right through the fabric, kill any microorganisms that are sitting on that fabric. When I get down into a chair here, I'm just going to go slow. Make sure I have the required dwell time. Very interesting what you'll find. You will also clean the surface as you steam. It removes all the dirt as you go. So one thing I wanted to talk about with this machine is obviously we have steam here. Um, if we were to run out of water and the boiler ran out of water, you would run out of steam. All right. So how do you check the water? You can open this at any time. And I don't know if you can uh, see very well. The water's down, I would say, a couple inches there. And all you do, fill up the water. And I like to keep the water about a quarter of an inch below the uh, lip there. We're ready to go. Put this back in. For maintenance of the machine, um, it's important uh, that you store properly. The tools should be cleaned, all right? Uh, we see machines sometimes that just never get looked at. And they pull this tool off. This is in pretty good shape, but I can see we picked up a little scale, a little buildup here and there. It's hot, be careful. Um, in here. So you really want to rinse this off, make sure it's clean. Anytime you're using um, any of the other uh, bristles and stuff, make sure they get cleaned as well. Remember, the bristles will be, it might be look filthy, but there'll be no germs because the steam is going through these. All right. So you want to clean them up properly. Um, the machine, all we need to do is turn off the steam. Take off this handle. This can hang right on the machine there. Just wrap the cord. The machine is compact. Everything fits together. It's very e easy and portable to bring to your next, lo next location. Big trash area in the back to put your rags that are used. Um, you should be good to go. What I covered today was basic use of the machine and especially more detail in disinfecting against bacteria, fungi, and viruses.